everybody, including Filipinos, said Barrera was too big, too strong, too good for Pacquiao. But Pacquiao just smiled and said, you see, you will see. He has this impish smile on his face. Uh, he's an extraordinary character. Uh, if he came from Manila, Jim, I'd call him the thriller from Manila. Marco Antonio Barrera faces no such problem in Mexico, where he, like Pacquiao, is an adored national hero. He is not only a uh, an amazing fighter, but he has to be counted now as a medical marvel. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Alamo Dome, 12 rounds of boxing for the featherweight championship of the world. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, from San Antonio, Texas, deep in the heart of Texas, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get her ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trimmed with black, his official weight, 125 pounds. In his professional career, he has demonstrated amazing power while compiling an outstanding record of 37 victories including 28 knockouts with only two defeats and one bout even while capturing a world title which is not on the line tonight from general santos city philippines the challenger the ibf super bantamweight champion of the world manny pacman pacquiao And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with black letters, and officially weighing 126 pounds. His professional record is an excellent one, consisting of 57 victories, including 40 knockouts with only three defeats. And he is recognized by his peers, the fans, and pundits alike as one of the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world today. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas y Caballeros, the Ciudad de Mexico, El Campeón de la Gente, the reigning, defending, universally recognized, featherweight champion of the world, the baby face assassin, Marco Antonio Barrera. I want to have a good, clean fight for the Olympia. Y bueno suerte. Good luck. Touch him up. Barrera says that he sees in Pacquiao his own younger, hungry warrior self. Can he hold off Pacquiao with his skill, or is he going to be forced into a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle? Nine first-round knockouts for Pacquiao. Six. For Barrera. Pacquiao reaching with the left hand. Barrera reaches out and goes to the body with both hands. Jim, I'd like to point out that. And Dickie Cole, or yes, Lawrence Cole. Lawrence Cole's Three, gonna call that a knockdown four, as he motions five, Barrera to a neutral six, corner and applies seven, the count. Eight. And already Barrera has knocked Pacquiao down. And Pacquiao's saying, why? Why'd you call that a knockdown? I'm not sure that Cole saw that punch land. 
And I'm not sure that a punch did land. We'll have to take a look at a replay to see exactly what happened. I didn't see a heavy punch land. It looked as much like a slip as anything else. Surprisingly, McGuire is much more aggressive than I expected. He's changing, he's making Pacquiao back back, something that Pacquiao is not prepared for. Herrera takes a couple of hard punches right up the middle as Pacquiao lands a one-two. Three of Barrera's last five fights have been with Southpaws, which means he should be very comfortable in this fight fighting a Southpaw. Great action in the first round as Pacquiao tries to establish a statement after the knockdown ruling by Lawrence Cole. When we go to the corners, in Pacquiao's corner, where they might speak Tagalog, our interpreter is Ernie Kalua. In Barrera's corner, where they will speak Spanish, our interpreter is Ray Torres. Good left hand to the body, and a left upstairs by Marco Antonio Barrera to punctuate round number one. Now let's Around see what happened on that knockdown. Or was it a knockdown? Uh, a straight left landed by Pacquiao, and when he landed, he twisted his body in an angle where he lost his balance. It was not punch definitely not a punch yeah Harold Letterman goes with the 10-8 because it was officially ruled a knockdown I'm sure that's the point Harold would make Pacquiao didn't come here expecting to win a decision trainer Freddie Roach says we've got to go in and force Freddie. Barrera into a war Barrera is successfully keeping Pacquiao on the end of that hard jab so far. Herrera has also begun to block more of Pacquiao's punches upstairs with his gloves. So Herrera making a key tactical move midway through the first round when he stepped forward one step to get into range to land his jab. And since that time, he's been tactically in control. Pacquiao's trying to take control. He's, 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 is this going to be a good fight? Because neither guy's going to accept the other guy controlling the fight. Uh, Pacquiao has been getting his left hand in just like there. He's had four or five of them, six in the last 30 seconds. Even in the middle of all-out wars, Marco Antonio Barrera is an amazingly patient fighter. And they call him, of course, the baby-faced assassin. It'd probably be better to call him the poker-faced assassin. He never shows emotion in the ring. Big combination by Barrera as he catches Pacquiao coming in. Manny comes back with body shots of his own. Hard body shots from Pacquiao. And at this stage, the clear punches for the most part of this round are still being landed by Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao has come out with a determined rally in round two. Herrera with a little swelling around the left eye. Perhaps the product of Pacquiao's long right jab. Hard left hand. Straight on the button by Pacquiao. Down goes Herrera. He's been knocked down three times in his career. There is that Never left hand. In a fight. There is that left hand again. That's he doesn't right. see it coming, or he just can't cope with its speed. Well, Packer's got a little rhythm. He doesn't just come straight in. He goes a little kind of semi-Mike Tyson in and out, in and out. Some in this arena who didn't really know who Manny Pacquiao was or what his chances might be against Marco Antonio Barrera. Now they know as Pacquiao tries to go ahead and finish Barrera right here in the third round. And he's getting reckless, and Barrera takes advantage. What a fight! I don't know if Barrera's going to survive it, but if he does, can survive this round, and Pacquiao runs out of gas a few rounds later, Pacquiao's going to be in trouble. But if this stays right here, hand by everything is great for Pacquiao at this stage right Pacquiao here. Pacquiao coming right through the right-hand counter. Landed another big left hand. A wobbly Barrera trying to fend him off as he's now definitely trying to stay away and not always able to do it. Very vulnerable for straight left. Herrera getting three chances to counter with the left hook, but taking a lot of leather to do it. Herrera's left eye is now starting to swell badly. Manny Pacquiao smiling as he continues to strike Herrera from range. Just one more. Surprise him. Got it. Come on, I need you to concentrate. Box him. Just wait for him on the outside. Don't struggle with him. Just wait for him. All right, right hand by Pacquiao. Herrera just trying to stay away. It's probably a marvel sometimes. But, 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 
Even though Marco Antonio Barrera is only 29 years old, he's been a fighting professional for 50 years, and or 15 years, I should say. And there are moments here when Pacquiao has made him look older than his year. Barrera knew exactly what Pacquiao wanted to do. He hadn't been able to do enough about it so far. Marco backing Pacquiao off with a counter right. He slows in round five. That helps Barrera. This fight there is perceived as Ali Fraser won. It would valid a victory would validate Pacquiao as their greatest sports hero of modern times. Well, not to mention, boxing fans love punchers. Pacquiao's fighting the kind of fight that millions of fans could fall in love with. Listen to me. Manny, right here. Listen to me. I want you to get a little bit busy. Okay? All right? And here. The jab, double hand, left hand behind me, okay? He slowed in round five to something more like Barrera wants, but Still, Pacquiao landed 16 out of 42 power shots. Barrera only got 14 of them off. So it appears to be another round that Pacquiao is likely to have won. Barrera hasn't really found any answers since round one. I don't like a lot of those fighters, which are the victims, so to say, of bad decisions. I don't think that Pacquiao's going to take off at the last few rounds and he's up at all. I think he's going to fight the same pace and not take a break at the end of the fight. Starting to dominate every area of the fight now. Barrera gets a hard right hand back. Thinks he's hurt Pacquiao, chases him down a little bit. Manny raises his arms to say, yeah, come on, trade with me. Right. Crowd comes alive as Barrera, for the moment, gives as good as he takes. Another right hand over the top. This is a round that judges could give to Barrera if they're looking for one to give to Marco. But Pacquiao's body punches set up another knockdown, and Lawrence Cole says no. it's not a knockdown. But Their feet must have been tangled up. I'll tell you what, that was a hard left hand, and there's another one like... That looked like more of a knockdown, certainly, than the one in the first round. No question about it. All right. All right, Manny. Very nice. Watch it, I'll put it in. Yeah. Okay. There's no need to get overexcited. We came to win. Throw the left hook to the body, to the liver. That's your best punch. Let's right see. there, you see he's throwing the combinations after dropping underneath, and Barrera was off balance. But you could call it a knockdown because any blow that lands above the waist that causes a person to go down legally is a knockdown. Hey, knockdown. <laughs> it was more of a knockdown than the first one. Way more. And he backs Barrera into the ropes and hammers him again. And now there's a big cut on Barrera's Time. left eye, and he's claiming that he was butted. And Pacquiao's grin is getting bigger. There is blood dripping. Axel headbutt. Axel, come here. No, no, no. And you hear Lawrence Cole saying accidental headbutt, many. and it is a big cut. <laughs> Barrera's been cut many times before. That's a bad one, although it's small. And frankly, you know, if he chooses to stop, they go to the scorecards and he loses. So he's got no, he's got no real competitive choice other than to keep going. Herrera wincing, the blood dripping into the corner of his eye. And Packer still determined not to let him take control over the fight. Herrera desperately trying to land a punch that could stave off this little avalanche coming at him. The irresistible force of Manny Pacquiao. Now the right jab is coming out. Right up by Barrera. Left hand counter. Stunned Pacquiao. Stop. Now Barrera butts Pacquiao intentionally. Oh. Referee Lawrence Cole properly warning Barrera about that. Rough night. Will Barrera ask his corner to stop the fight? It's interesting. The blood seemed to have coagulated on his own. Don't, don't let him. Don't let him. 
Permit, don't permit them to start the fight. You got to win. Come on, lift it up. You got to pick up the speed. Pick up the speed. There may be a second nick over Barrera's eye. Pacquiao throwing many more punches as he hammers away at Barrera. Pacquiao also trying to define himself as the greatest fighter ever from the Philippines, outdistancing Jerry Penalosa, Luisito uh, Espinosa, and the great Flash Elorde from decades back. Hard left hand by Barrera. Backs Pacquiao up. Hard right hand by Barrera. Uppercut landed. Didn't manage to really hurt Pacquiao. De La Hoya. Yeah. He is uh, Barrera's promoter, so the look of concern has to do with the jeopardy in which Barrera finds himself. Well, he's finding out what being a promoter is like that he hasn't had to deal with as a young promoter. Pacquiao lands a left hand. Barrera counters back with a left and a right. Big punches from Pacquiao, and again the power deficit shows as Barrera just backs up, taking those shots. Barrera's going to have to try to let it all hang out because it, right now he cannot time the rhythm and the movement of Pacquiao. The punches, and Pacquiao is smart. He's not really throwing hard punches now. He can't handle the speed of the movement of this guy. So in that case, you just have to go for your power. Pacquiao showing tremendous stamina. Doesn't seem to want to slow down at all. And now Dickie Cole is going to warn Manny Pacquiao. Richard Corner. Time! Minus one! Minus one! Minus one! Minus one! All right? Minus right one there. against Barrera. I think because Barrera, I think, hit him maybe on the break. Just out of his frustration. Oh, yeah. Barrera having trouble seeing out of his left eye. Pacquiao just hammering him. Just hammering him. Right to left. The Barrera's mouthpiece is not to push that out. Yes. Well, what you have is Manny Pacquiao annihilating a guy who was universally ranked coming in as one of the five or six best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport. The superstar in the making, Manny Pacquiao with a sensational performance so far. Assaulting Marco Antonio Barrera, mugging him, and about to leave him in the gutter. It does seem that the great Barrera has virtually conceded this fight. Yes. Now, Manny, oh, you hear me? I want you to pick it up on him, okay? Now, Manny, you're following him the whole round. You gotta have to bring him up. You know what? Okay. Don't follow this man, yeah. okay? Yeah. My question is, as great as Barrera is, should his corner keep sending him out to take this kind of punishment? That's a good question. I can't imagine that it would, but he's gonna pay a heavy price in these last two rounds unless something changes. This is a fight that will shake up the boxing world. Sure will. Herrera is one of the highest regarded fighters in the world. He's an icon. One of the most, been one of the most entertaining fighters in the world. One of the most complete fighters in the world. I wouldn't send him out for the 12th round, Manny. No. I don't care how proud he is. There's no way a great fighter should have to go through three more minutes of this. No, because Pac guy is not backing off. If you have a guy that was He's holding getting hurt. Off, Here comes gotcha. Barrera's corner. Barrera's corner man is up on the apron. He's, he's going to step into the ring. That's a good decision. Yeah. Finally. They could have done that two rounds ago. Sets Pacquiao up for some huge fights and some big money in the future. It's reported that of the $700,000 purse that was directed toward Pacquiao tonight, he himself is only going to get three hundred grand of it. So he deserves the chance to make big money in the future. Well, he's going to make a lot of big money now as a result of this performance tonight. Very impressive. A superstar emerges in San Antonio. Filipinos, or Filipino star Manny Pacquiao annihilates, destroys and embarrasses the great Marco Antonio Barrera. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes in round number 11, the official time. Two minutes, 56 seconds as referee Lawrence Cole calls a halt to the action. The winner and new featherweight champion of the world, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Yeah, you were
faster than him, yeah. especially with your left hand. It seemed he couldn't even see it coming. Did you, you knew that right away? Uh, in the training, uh, Raider Rhodes knows uh, how he in my left hand. And, and I know his eye style. We studied a lot, two months. We studied his style in two months. So I'm not surprised. Yeah. In so you were a star before this fight. What are you now? Ah, superstar ka na ba ngayon? Ah, now I'm superstar to to the eyes of the the people. But in myself, I don't want to to be a higher than before. I will I will still before down. I will still down before. He he means that he wanted to still be humble as he usually is. Thank you very much, Manny, for a great fight. Congratulations again. Back to you, Jim. Um, I hope uh, nobody got, you know, we will still friend and everybody friend. We, we were, we're just do our best to entertain to the people and to all of you guys. So that's what we, we try to do. So thank you uh, to his family and uh, to his supporters. Thank you to all my family. You did a lot in, in, in boxing, so your name, it will, will never forget in boxing. No, you know, I am happy because don't only win me Manny Pacquiao. Say, ah, win, win Manny Pacquiao, that's all. No, you win Manuel Marquez, you win Eric Morales, Oscar de la Hoya, uh, many names. Uh, yeah, you yeah. have the list, I mean your list. <laughs> Morales, <laughs> Barrera, Marquez. <laughs> I see, right, coming to the, to the gym, I see you having my, in your list. <laughs> <laughs>